Hi, Dave Berg here. I want to talk about business building with internet, technology, and social media. I have a background of being a chief information officer for over 25 years and helping corporate America build their businesses using technology. So I want to talk today about how to build your own business with internet, technology, and social media. So let's begin. The first thing you need is you need a business. So let me talk about the two pieces of the business. There's a back-end company and a front-end marketing. And what is the purpose of the front-end marketing? It's the business building piece. It's a way to find people to join the business as leaders and or customers. And what's the back-end? The back-end is a network marketing company with great products, opportunity, and financial stability. And when you put those two together, you actually get rapid success. So let's talk about each one of them first. First, let's talk about internet marketing. And if you describe the, everybody that lives in the world as, a, <clears throat> as some uh, M&Ms in a bowl, uh, then representing the people that way, and then using social media as a mechanism to help uh, sort out and find those people, one of the things that you realize is that there's a half in the two large social media systems, Facebook and MySpace, there's over a half a billion people in those systems and they're growing every day. Facebook today has over 350 million and MySpace over 360 million. So let's go over here and look at this bowl of M&Ms and nuts. So the first thing we're looking for and is represented by green M&Ms is a business builder. A business builder is someone that wants to wants to own their own business and wants to be a part of their own thing. Wants to earn money, some extra money or, or a lot of money, or to just to, uh, as a as a side effect or as a, a complete business themselves. So business builders we're looking for. So in that in that bowl we're looking for green M and M's. Now the other uh, next thing we're looking for is red M and M's, and those red M and M's represent business customers. The third thing we're looking for is unhappy network marketers, and they're described as purple. So what we want to do is we want to reach into that bowl and pick green, red, and purple M&Ms. Now there's other things in the bowl that's described those, but we don't want those. There's happy network marketers. They're in the blue. They're enjoying what they're doing and are successful with what they're doing. And so we don't want to pick those out of the bowl. Second kind of M&M we don't want to pick out of the bowl is yellow. These are negative people. These are people that suck the positive out of everything. They come to a room and you can feel the whole room going negative. The third kind of people is represented by the yellow M&M. They're looking for sex or love and we're not interested in that from a business standpoint. And then finally, the last group of people are assorted nuts and the world has plenty of those. We want to leave those in the bowl. So all of these kinds of people, we're not looking for. We're going to leave them in the bowl. Now. One of the interesting things is over time, a large percent of the happy network marketers become unhappy network marketers. Now, why is that? Well, these are they're disappointed with the back end system, the network marketing system, and or they haven't really figured out how to build a business, finding business builders and, and business customers. Well, one of the interesting things that's happening is these social networking systems are developing more and more search capability. In fact, just recently, Facebook has uh, built a advanced search application. And with the searching capability of the social systems, and specifically Facebook, but MySpace has similar kinds of it, they help you find the green, the red, and the purple M&Ms. Now let's talk a little bit about the back-end system, network marketing. You know, what's the criteria for a network marketing company? Well, you want it, there's at least three, I think. You want it, uh, you want that proven management. You know, somehow or other they know what they're doing and they've done it before. You want it to be stable, especially financial stability. So you'd like to have no debt and some resource to grow the business. You would like to have them manufacture, research, develop and manufacture their own high quality products. 
Now in the market penetration and the excitement, you would like to have it small penetration. In other words, it's almost like a startup company. Let's look at some additional requirements. These are really important as well in looking at a back-end network marketing company. First, it, they'd have to have a unique product or service that you actually believed in and you could stand behind. And what do I mean by that? Well, I'd say you can honestly say you'd be willing to pay for the at the advertised price, even if you weren't being paid as a distributor for it. And number three, they need to have a great compensation plan. What does that mean? That it rewards the right activity, that you get generous front end commissions for recruiting, and you get high, there's high bonuses and also long-term residual income. So it's a fair, a great compensation plan, which is fair to all from, from the new person to the mid-level person to the high-end person. It would also be in high demand and a growth niche. Number five, it would pay out a large percentage of the revenues as commissions to the reps. And finally, it would have to have above average retention rates. So these are important characteristics of a back-end network marketing company. When you put all these together, you end up with a number one uh, back-end network marketing company with a front-end company of social media and internet, and you turn out to be a really uh, a wonderful business uh, relationship here. So let's go back to where we started, you know, build a building business with internet technology and social media. And again, my name is Dave Berg. Happy to um, have you take this time and listen. You can contact me on uh, dbergcio at me.com or you can give me a call on 801-403-9101. Uh, I'd look forward to uh, more discussion with you. If this is something that looks interesting to you, let's hook up. Let's have some fun. We can make some money. Thanks. Bye.